Hey guys, this is Zexanite. Welcome back. We are playing some more Super Mario 64. When we last left off, um, I, I, what is this one? Oh, I think I know. Um, when we last left off, um, I, this needs to be down all the way, I think. Um, I had a theory for you guys. Okay, so, um, I don't know how... It's been a few days since I've played between games, which makes me really surprised that I actually even remembered this. But, whoops. <laughs> um, I... Yeah, I... I was... Yeah, I was like watching somebody play... I don't know. I don't know how I thought of this, but like... Um... So my idea is like, everybody's always like, Oh, Mario, you're so silly, goofy, dumb. How can you make fireballs underwater? And so here's my theory. Um, my theory is that the fireballs that Mario... Um, oh shit, I didn't do it right. Fuck, I'm gonna die so many times. Um... Oh no! Okay, go! Okay. And don't let the other one come. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Good. Okay. Um. Okay, so I think what we have to do is this. Um. So my theory is that the. Um. The fireballs are actually super, super heated. And. Let's see, how am I gonna. Okay, and then do this, and then do this. Oops, no, go. Ah, need to, uh, fuck. Great, great, that's what I wanted to happen. I don't care, that's what I was trying to do. I wanted to do this all over again, because this level is so fun. That's just what I wanted all along. Um. I, um, okay, so the fireballs are superheated, and what is happening, or what I propose is happening, is, uh, fuck, it wasn't close enough? That's so obnoxious. Oh no, okay. So what I propose is happening is that they're so hot, they are, um, they are, I don't want to say suffering, they're not suffering, <laughs> they're ball, they're fireballs, they don't suffer. Um, they are affected, I guess you would say. They're affected by the light and frost effect. What light and frost effect is, is when you have something that's so hot going into something that's much colder than it, um, the, the sub substance is going into, uh, should primarily be a liquid, I think. Um, what it's going into will boil around it. So, um... When, if you were to put your hand into, I think, what was it? Liquid nitrogen? I don't, you should not do that. I'm not suggesting you do that. But if you did, your hand is so much hotter than it that, um, if you put it in for like just a second, it would, the nitrogen would boil around your hand and, um, like temporarily it would protect it um because it, it's just like all gas around your hand that's the same temperature as your hand and of course um go to town oh wait no i can't do this hang on i i done fucked it um so yeah what happens is the the liquid around your hand would boil and it would come to the same t and eventually um they would like equal out in temperature um your hand would um, make the liquid nitrogen warmer and the liquid nit nitrogen would make your hand colder. Um, so yeah, no, you don't want to do that for too, too long. Um, because that would that would be awful and it would like fuck you up. But um, do I want to... Mm, I might need to do that in another video. Um, I hate doing these hundred coin videos in separate videos, but I'm not really thinking it through that well. Um, so anyway, um, I think, my think, my thinking is that 
the fireballs that you shoot underwater are so hot that they are subject to the Leiden Frost effect. So what's happening is when a fireball um, is expelled, I guess you would say, maybe? When a fireball, yeah, is expelled, um, it is expelled at such a temperature that the water around it boils. So there's basically a layer of gas around the, um, there's like a layer of gas around the fireball. And that's what allows it to, um, that's what allows it to just exist underwater. Um, I think I can do this like this. Hang on. Now that gets into a kind of interesting situation that I kind of thought about a little bit. Um, and what it is is like, um, okay, so the the fireballs um, are affected by the Leiden Frost effect, but um, if that's the case, if they are encased in a bubble of basically air, um, or like whatever, uh, something, whatever it is, um, if they're if they're encased in this air bubble, um, then are they really fire? Because um, the thing is, fire, um, and th I think this applies for like the um, like the like non-water stages too. So like um, if you go out. Um, Sorry, I'm just like kind of like absorbed in my own head. Um, in a in a stage like well not like this, but like in a stage where there is no or little water. Um, how if they're fire, then how do they like bounce around like that? Um, because they don't. If if it were just actual fire, it would just kind of like well first of all it would like extinguish at the source. I would think um, like once the source was gone, it would extinguish. But a second is that um, it um, um, fuck. Sorry, it's hard to. It's hard to. This is ah, stop it. Okay. Okay. Sorry, the angles and everything. I'm concentrating. Fuck. It's so annoying. Probably should have just like made a Zex talk about this, but then I I only have like half of the information. Like I don't know where to find the information to like kind of complete this theory. It's only got half of a theory out at this point. But anyway, um Um If it were just fire, it would like go out at the source. So like it wouldn't become a ball and like bounce around like it does. Um but aside from that, even if it did, like, it would just travel upward. It wouldn't, like, like, bounce on the ground. It would just, like, keep going up and up and up. And the same applies for it being underwater is, like, um, sorry, it's really hard to, mm, it's hard because there's a delay. Okay. Okay. Um, the, um, yeah, it would just keep, like, going up and up, and same for if it were underwater. If it were underwater, um, it would just, like, the, um, bubbles containing the fireballs would just rise to the surface. They wouldn't, like, go after anything, so, um, I'm thinking that it has- these fireballs, whatever they're made out of, must be, um, fuck. They must be fuck. Um, they've got to be like, like more dense than, than water at least, because air, air is not that dense. Um, so that's not really a big deal, but, um, they would need to be more dense than water in order to be able to bounce around in the water. And yet they can't be so heavy that they sink. Like they'd have to be 
something that could like kind of feasibly do that. And I don't, I don't, don't know that any substance really, I mean it's a video game so you know, I don't know that any substance has like really the physics to like kind of bounce in that manner underwater um, or like rebound like that. But like it would at least need to like sink in water. Um, even at a, a slow rate. So, the issue is um, thinking of what that might be. Now, I saw a video um, when I was trying to come up with this theory. Um, when I was trying to figure out about um, more, just like find out more about the light and frost effect, and like, I came across this video that, hang on, I have it written down. It was, um, thermite. Okay, so, um, this guy lit thermite on fire using, um, well, he moltenized. He, he moltenized, is that a word, moltenized? Well, it is now. He moltenized, uh, thermite by lighting magnesium on fire. And, um... This created the light and frost effect. Um, this was 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. I should link this video somewhere. Um, but anyway, um, it was 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit, um, which is 200 something, or not 200, 2,000 something. <laughs> huh, wow. 2,000 something um, in Celsius, maybe like 2,500 something. Anyway, um, not only did that, um, yeah, that produced. Um, um, of course, the light and frost effect. Um, and what it was, was it, it was basically the, like what you would see. It was basically like fire underwater. So, um, now we just gotta camp out here for a little bit. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, it was basically like having fire underwater. Um, but the thermite, um, I, like it sinks, it doesn't bounce. I don't know if there's a better material to kind of surmise that a. Come on, man. <sighs> Whatever. Fuck. Oh my god, the camera angles are just. Mm. I want to throw up right now. I want to throw up. I just. I don't want to throw up. I want to throw up. Um. I, I don't care. I. Just, ugh, fuck. Can't even like fucking see what I'm doing. This is not fair. <sighs> oh my god. Like, I can't- there's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing I can do about it. Cause it's just gonna- <sighs> Okay, let's try. <sighs> I was getting into a conversation with my brother and he said that he hated this level. I'm like, why? Maybe this is fucking why. Um, this is- I, I, I mentioned that this is one of my favorite levels, but oh my god, okay. Um, uh, the level as a whole, not just this one. Um, this one star. Um, anyway, we got it. We got it. We got that on lockdown. So anyway, um, yeah. Um, I suspect that, um, Thermite is a candidate for the material that fireballs in Mario are made of. Um, however, um... I'm just going to do this one. However, um, uh, what was I going to say? Um, it, it doesn't like bounce, it just kind of sinks. Uh, though in my defense it does kind of make like, you can see like little balls being made, so I don't know, maybe I'm not too far off. But um, thermite, I think I was looking up, I think it's like iron oxide. So my other part of this theory is that um, what a fire flower is. And my thought on a fire flower was that it would have to be something like um, something that has a lot of iron in it naturally. Um, I guess. Um, I don't know that because I, I actually tried to look up a flyer a flyer a flyer a flyer a flower with a lot of um, iron in it, and I guess people aren't really interested in that because 
uh, people don't eat flowers. So, people are not interested in what flowers have iron in them. Ah, oh, shit. Good. Good for me. Um. So, yeah. Um. Uh, so, I guess maybe this is, like, still a work in progress, but. Um. Yeah, I think um, the reason you can shoot fireballs underwater is because they are so hot that um, they are um, subject to the light and frost effect. Um, they might be made of thermite. Thermite, not thermite, thermite. And then the fire flower would have to be something which contains a, a lot of iron in order to... Um, produce but then there would have to be like something like an ignition something to ignite it so I don't know I think it's kind of cool to think about but I think like I don't know I'd have to like work on this a lot for it to be like a, a real like theory but I think I've got like a good start on this I think I've got a good start on like what is going on with the fireballs and the fire flowers I don't know, I, I just like kind of like came to me the other day, like, I don't know, everybody's always like, how can you shoot fire underwater? And like, I don't know what it was from, I don't know how I remembered about the light and frost effect. I'd learned about it before, um, but I don't like, like where something just like kind of clicked in my brain about it. And, come on man, here. Um, something about it just like sort of like clicked in my brain at one point and I'm like oh yeah if it was like in air then it could like be a thing so I don't know I think it's something I still need to work a little bit on but I I think I've got a solid grounds for a um a theory um but I yeah I don't know should I work on that more should I try and find, like, what flowers have iron in them? Should I try and find, like, um, um, different, um, substances which could, which are, um, dense enough to sink, but, like, not t too heavy to bounce in water? Um, but then they would be, have to, like, hold the same for air as well. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot to think about with this one. Um, but, I don't know. It was just kind of in interesting to sort of, like, come up with this sort of thing. Oh, oh yeah. This always, like... Because, like, if you look at the trees, like, they're just, like, like moving around. That, like, even, even when this game was, like, newer and the graphics were newer, this is something that always, like, always bugged me about it. Because it's like, it's not... I don't get it. Like, why... What? What is the... What is the object? Ah, uh, come on. Okay. I don't know. Like, it's it's so... Uh, it's so sicky. It's so sicky. Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to get getting 100 coins. Okay. Did I get those 100 coins on the roof there? I think I did. Because 16 is 8. 16. Yeah. And then... Yeah, okay. So I probably did. Um, so I gotta get all these coins. Okay, so let's get us- Oh, hi, Mr. One-Up Mushroom. How are you doing? Um, please get into my mouth, because I would like you to be there. Um, uh, uh, there's a dick joke in there somewhere. <laughs> uh, come here, Mr. Skitty Ski. Skitty Ski. There you are. Okay. Um... Not to be confused with the skiddly bobs. Um, these are skiddy skis. Um, very, very different. Um, which makes me, just makes me think of skiddy now. Ah, oh, shit! No, come down to me, coins. Come down to me. Ah, oh, here you are. Ah, oh, get in my mouth. Ah, oh, I don't know why I'm eating coins, but get in my mouth anyway. Fuck, I screwed that up. Good for me. Good. Good. Oh, well. Ah, uh, come on. Mario. Mario, jump! Come on! <sighs> that commercial, man. <clears throat> um. 
Yeah, I don't know, maybe I should, maybe, maybe that'd be a g uh, if nothing else, maybe it would be like a good either thought exercise or- Yep. A thought exercise or research exercise or something like that. Maybe I should just like work on that for myself and then if it, if I think it's good enough, maybe I can like tell someone else about it. Um, like all of you guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, um. Yeah, that's that's my thought. That's my theory. Um, and dive into the water, yay! I don't know. There's something. There's something I like about that. Oh, oh god, oh god, we're going, we're going, we're going. This this has to happen. This has to happen now. This is how this has to happen. Okay. Um, let us go back to the main part of town. That's the thing. Is like um. The only way to get the water level this high is to jump into the painting. So, no matter what, you have to get this part first. Um, and then, like, afterwards, you can kind of fucking do whatever you want. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not your fucking dad. Like, I don't know. Um, let's, let's, yeah. Let's get all the stuff on the ground level first. Let's just gradually go up. That, that seems to make the most sense. So let's do this. Let's get everything that's on the ground. And in, in, including this skitty ski over here. Which it just makes you think of ski. I don't know. Oh yeah, I think I might have said that. And then I was just so surprised by fall. I was like, whoa. Um, let's get these. Yay. Oh, there are coins in them. Um, wow. I don't know where that noise came from. So, so, oops. Tonight is a rare night when I am doing a let's play at like midnight. Um, usually I have to like... I start... well it depends on the day. I'll, if it's on a weekend, which is usually when I'll do let's plays because that's when I have the most time, I'll start like sometime in the afternoon because fuck mornings, am I right? Um, oh, fuck, come on. Mario! Mario, push! Um, uh, I'll start in the afternoon, um, and then I have to finish by, um, by when, uh, this is one of the easier ones to get the star on to, because it's kind of a huge level, but, um, I will, oops, what, what, I'm sorry for that, I'm sorry you had to clip like that, um, Yay! Let's get all the blue coins. Um, yay, 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 yay! Oh, wow, we're almost there, wow! Awesome, oops, well, we're not there if we keep doing that. <sighs> Good for me. Anywho, um... Uh... Oh, God. Can you... Yay! Okay. And then, I don't think there's anything on this level. No, there's not, so let's just get up there. Um, come on, mood. Mood? Mood? Dude, I meant to call you dude. Fuck! Come on, man! <sighs> call, I was trying to call him man and dude at the same time, and it turned into mood. Fuck, I'm gonna die. What the fuck?! What the fuck?! Come on, man! Come on! Not even fair! Not even fair! I don't even I don't even remember what happened now. <laughs> um I don't I don't even know what I feel injustice towards. Um let's get up there. Oops, oops, oops. Okay. Okay, at least there's water in this level. So uh, you know what always like weirded me out was like where do they go when it's there's water? They just disappear. Where do they go? Where do they even go, man? Oh no! Oh yeah, that's what happened. Is he just straight up bumped me off? Like what the fuck, asshole! Oh god. Well, I guess it's better than falling down. Um. Okay, and get this, or not? Good, good for me. Um. Uh, maybe backflip to it? Cool. Aw, um, we're like one short. 
Well, there's, there's, why didn't I get these before? There's like the eight that are over here. Yay! Awesome! Jump up quick before you get shocked. Yay! Cools! I want to see how many I can get altogether. Because I know there's like still a lot that are e like really easy to get. So, let's just get them. Um, okay, we're out of his line of... Uh, we, let's change camera angles. Um, we don't need that Mario down shit anymore. Um, I think... Oh, I can't. Oh, wait. But I can. I, but I can. So, I don't know why I said that I can't. Um, oh, wait. No, there's a thingy up here. Hang on. There. Well, there's two thingies. There's one thingy, what thingy. There's what thingy. Um, up here. Okay. I didn't get shocked, so I'm happy about that. And grab them all. Get them all. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you don't gotta be doing Olympic flips or anything. Just, just get the coins. Um. Let's see. Oh, there's coins over there too. Maybe I can get like three one-ups in this whole. Thing thing. Um, okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I ruined everything. Oh no. I can get back up. Um, let's go here. Uh, I missed, I missed some. I, I missed, I missed it. Um, I don't think that's gonna come back. Um, but there's some on that ledge, which is good. There's some in that guy, which is good. Um, and then there's like some elsewhere, something. I don't know, I'm not really sure what star I'm going for right now. Maybe I'll go to that top of the town star. I know we're like super over, but like I had to get this star in. So um, we're just kind of dicking around now. Um, let's see, let's go here, yay. Let's bring this up so I don't have to do this anymore. There you go. I believe this is the highest point you can get the water level at, but it's like not enough to get to that cage. You have to jump into the- Ugh, great. You have to jump into the painting to get to the downtown area. Um. Okay. Um, let's get you. Um. I always wonder what those guys are called. I know they probably have a name. They must have a name. Everything in this game has a name, whether you know it or not. Um. Hmm. Uh, uh, Mario down. The only way to go- I always say that, and then it always fucks me up. Um. I feel like there were, like, coins over there somewhere. Oh, well. Let's just go get the star, because why not? Okay. And... There we go. Nice. Okay. So, with that, um, we're done with this episode. So, thank you for watching. Hopefully I will see you in the next video. And goodbye to you all, sirs and madams and everyone in between.